Yes. You! We need to talk. We can't talk here. Too public. Meet me behind the Great Chapel at midnight. Don't let anyone follow you. I'll make it worth your while. Ah, you came. You're sure you weren't followed? Good. I thought I could trust you. Nobody else in town. They're all in on it. All watching me. Well, yes. I need you to do something for me. I'll pay you gold. You like gold, don't you? Lots of gold. Here's my problem. I'm being followed. Watched. Marukotti selectives, maybe. Not sure. I'm a threat, you see, to their plans. I know too much. I need you to check out some people for me. The ones who are following me. Watch them. See where they go. Who they report to. Will you help me? Very good. You won't be sorry. I'll pay you well. Did I say that already? Let's start with Bernadette Penniless. Be outside my house at 6 a.m. You'll see her watching me. See where she goes and who she reports to. We'll meet here again tomorrow night. Oh, and never contact me in public. They're watching. They can't know you're helping me. Remember, Bernadette Penelis, 6 a.m. Don't let her see you watching. I'm Bernadette Penelis. I work for Tamika. I grow grapes for her wines. Well, I know he's a bit odd, but I've always thought he was kind of sweet. Lately, though, he has been stranger than usual. I think maybe he's been following me. I see him every morning on my way to chapel. I've tried to say hello, but he always pretends not to hear me. I saw Ugark Grum. Have you seen the Oblivion Gate? Be seeing you. I told you not. Ah. that you've been asking around town about Glarther, a resident eccentric. I'd like to know why. Fine. Play it that way. Let me give you some friendly advice. Glarther is crazy. Maybe harmless crazy. Maybe not. Don't get involved with him. If he asks you to do anything strange... You come see me first, got it? Or any of the town guard, let us handle it. So, you saw Bernadette Penelis, did you? She was watching me and following me, wasn't she? Really? That is surprising. I was sure she was watching me. Ah, 
Of course. The gold. Here. Yeah. But there is someone else I need you to investigate. Just as I thought. Just as I thought. Excellent work. There will be a bonus in this for you. Don't worry. Ah, of course. The gold. Here. Yeah. But there is someone else I need you to investigate. Tutius Sextius, do you know him? A quiet fellow, appears harmless enough, but I've identified him as one of my key suspects. He's a clever one, no doubt about it. Eyes in the back of his head, always seems to know when I'm watching. But that's where you come in. You should wait outside his house and see what he does when he's not watching me. I'll meet you here tomorrow night to get your report. Don't let Tutius Sextius catch you following him. He's much more dangerous than he looks. How goes it? You've got the hands of a smith. Must have spent some time repairing your gear. You're new here, or you'd know me. Tutius Sextius, my people have lived in Skingrad since the dawn. Father and the Count were best of friends. I'm sorry, but I don't think I know any Glarther. Oh, wait, do you mean that strange wood elf that you see wandering around the city? Yes, I've seen him, but never spoken to him. He seems to be at the low gate every morning when I pass by on my way to the castle. Gives me the strangest looks now that you mention it. Almost like he hates me, although I have no idea why. For you, of course, every little bit helps. Yes, the strange wood elf who haunts the low gate every morning. You said he was Glarther. Well, I'm afraid I know nothing else about the fellow. Farewell. Hello. Tell me what you learned about Tutius Sextius. So, he really is innocent then? Interesting. Perhaps they have been using him as a decoy to draw my attention away from their real spies. Yes, of course. Here is your precious gold. Now I need you to investigate one more person for me. So, I was right all along. You're doing excellent work, my friend. Here you go, my friend. Trust me, you've earned it. There is one last person that needs looking into, though. Do you know David Surly? Yes, of the famous Surly Vineyards, pillar of the community, etc. Who would ever suspect him? Perfect cover for the ringleader of the whole conspiracy! He watches my house constantly. You'll see. He leaves his house early each morning. Watch him and report back to me here. At midnight, as usual. Make sure he doesn't notice you.
Be careful. David Surly is the ringleader. You must not let him catch you watching him. May I help you? I'm David of Surely Brothers Vineyard. Gaston is my brother. From our vineyards come the finest wines in Tamriel. Ah, well, in all honesty, no. But our wines are very good, and much cheaper than Tamika's very fine product, I assure you. You may have heard that he's a bit touched in the head, and that may be true. But he's always been a quiet neighbor, Never given us any trouble. You too. Talk is free. What do you want? So, what did you discover about the upstanding David Surly? Well then, I suppose I must believe you. At least now I can be sure. Here, this is your last task. And so, it all falls into place. Yes, yes, it all makes sense now. Here, this is your last task. Here's the gold, as promised. I always pay my debts, and then some. Do the last task in that note, and I will pay you much, much more. Looks like you're handy with a blade.
have you done what I asked? Really? They're really dead? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! I'm free! I'm finally free! By all means, I would have paid any amount to be rid of those watching eyes, always watching me, but never again! <laughs> I'm free! You have something you want to tell me about that nutcase? Really? He's getting worse, then. Thanks for letting me know. If you think he's becoming dangerous, you come straight to me, and I'll handle it. Why? What's he done? Damn. He's finally gone completely bonkers. Thanks for the tip. Now stand aside and let the guard do their work. Sir? Sad story. But at least we stopped him in time, thanks to you. I've never heard the Countess mention her husband. I'll be honest. Good day.